Good morning. I'm happy to be here uh, replacing my dean who could not make it. He has prepared the, this presentation, so uh, I'll just uh, bring, uh, show it up for, for you. So the title of the presentation is Why Would We Need a School of Public Health at the University of Montreal in 2013, which is the year where uh, the school uh, was created. So just a bit of history. Uh, in 1912, Tulane University uh, had a school which was called the School of Hygiene and Tropical uh, Medicine. And a big change uh, uh, came about, came around in 1913 with a conference which was uh, sponsored by the Rockefeller Foundation uh, on the need for a public health education in the US. Uh, so uh, during that conference, much was uh, said about the need for a profession, a new profession of public health, uh, the need to ally it to uh, medicine, but to be distinct at the same time with its own identity and educational institutions. So that's 100 years ago. And then, of course, there was the Welsh, uh, report, Welsh Rose Report in 1915, uh, which uh, had the same uh, ideas and which uh, was at the basis of the uh, creation of uh, the first uh, school of public health in the U.S. The, the Johns Hopkins at Johns Hopkins University, which was called, I believe, the School of Hygiene and Public Health rather than the School of Public Health and Hygiene. Uh, and then in 1922, Harvard and uh, MIT. Uh, were allied, but then uh, uh, they sort of split up and, and the Harvard School of Public Health uh, was born uh, with an endowment again from the Rockefeller Foundation. Uh, the Rockefeller Foundation supported other initiatives, including uh, abroad uh, the Department of Public Health in China, in Beijing, China, uh, in former Yugo Yugoslavia, uh, the School of Public Health and Institute of Hygiene, and in Toronto in 1927, the School of Hygiene uh, here in Canada. Now, uh, the presentation is not that much uh, on uh, focused on public health and where we are now, but do we need schools of public health? And uh, just a, a reminder, of course, that public health is a wide area of knowledge and research and practices. Uh, um, grounded uh, in different, uh, grounded in uh, stemming from different uh, uh, institutions uh, and political contexts. Uh, the underlying rationale uh, at the basis of the creation of the first schools of public health is probably still valid today, uh, which was that independent uh, academic institutions were needed to address public health problems that were complex. So nowadays, we could probably be comfortable saying that the, the problems are even more complex. Uh, some of these issues have been uh, discussed uh, previously. So the solutions, the problems are complex. The, the solutions need to be also uh, more complex, more refined. So. Uh, if public health is a, a field, a wide field, uh, which uh, uh, needs uh, the contribution of different disciplines from the basic and, and biomedical sciences, from animal and human health sciences, social sciences, management sciences, so how do we go about uh, uh, using all of the, these disciplines in making it work? So from an institutional perspective at the University of Montreal, why, why create the School of Public Health? Uh, well, there were two, the main factor, I would say, uh, was to gain more uh, independence and more visibility. Uh, I'll, in the next slide, I'll go back to uh, where we were before we became a school. But uh, clearly, since we became an independent school two years ago, it has enabled us to establish more easily uh, links with, for example, other faculties in creating already new training programs. Uh, so not that it was, it was inexistent before, but it has made things easier, uh, clearly. Uh, to work with other faculties, particularly the, the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. 
It has helped us strengthen, strengthen ties also with our research partners and practice environments. And finally, the second point which is important is that the timing was good uh, in the sense that uh, the uh, direction of the University of Montreal was very receptive to this idea that, has been, that had been around for many, many years, uh, many tries to create a school of public health, but they thought it was a good idea and, and they really were very supportive of, uh, uh, of the creation of the school and they, they still are even in this difficult, these difficult times in terms of funding and changes. Um, so we're a young faculty, not quite two years old, but uh, we also have quite a long history like probably most other uh, schools of public health. So uh, these are listed here. Uh, just to mention that uh, from 1971 to 2013, uh, there were three departments that formed the, the public health sector at the Faculty of Medicine of the university. Those three departments are the founding uh, members, if you will, of the new school. So the Department of Social and Preventive Medicine, the Department of Health Administration, and the Department of Environmental and Occupational Health. So uh, for 25 years or more, 35 years, there had been four separate attempts at creating some sort of school of public health, either or institute, either within the Faculty of Medicine or outside. And finally, in 2013, we were able to, uh, um, to have this, uh, this new school. So what are some of our assets uh, at this time? Well, we have those three departments I just mentioned, and we have a unit of international health, which has been very active for over 25 years. We have uh, 54 uh, faculty members uh, and researchers, 165 associate, like clinical professors, uh, 18 uh, staff, a total of over 700 students in the fall of 2000 14 in our different programs. We have strong links with a variety of research centers, both in and off campus, and with professional institutions, particularly in, in public health, and also for our, um, uh, our, uh, our students in the uh, Masters in Health Administration, who need to, to do some internships also in hospital settings, so also with that, that type of institution. We have, in terms of training programs, a PhD in public health with five different uh, tracks or options. We have five master's programs, including a master of science in public health, which is accredited by the CEPH. It has been for 10 years. Uh, we have also a master's in health administration accredited by the CAME, the Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Management Education, since 1967. We have a residency program uh, jointly with the Faculty of Medicine, and we have what, I, what was called here non-degree programs, that's one year sort of diploma graduate programs. Um, one of the uh, six, six one-year programs and six, uh, we call them micro programs, just one semester um, programs. Uh, we have nine chairs, research, uh, eight research chairs and, and one, um, Oh, eight research, yeah, four CIHR, one joint with the Faculty of Medicine and one in education or the, um, training, should, should we say. Uh, we have three new uh, programs since we were created. Uh, we have created a new track in our new MPH program in, with, in collaboration with the Faculty of Vet Veterinary Medicine uh, called One Health. We have a master's in biostatistics jointly with the Department of uh, Statistics and Mathematics at the University of Montreal, which is uh, on, not yet offered, but uh, which should be hopefully offered within a year. Uh, we have a new uh, master's, a revamped master's in clinical research jointly with the Faculty of Medicine. We have revised our Masters of Public Health, which has now seven tracks, uh, including the five that are required for the uh, accreditation by CEPH. We have four professional degrees, including uh, we're working on a doctorate in public health degree, 
so uh, at, the, at that, currently we have a one-year program for uh, at that level, which will be transformed in a doctorate. We have uh, coming a master's in epidemiology and a PhD in bioethics. Uh, just uh, um, an indication uh, that goes in the same dire direction than what was said previously uh, uh, of the interest uh, in public health or uh, uh, applicants uh, numbers have increased uh, enormously in the past two years, uh, almost double. Uh, so we're up for next year to over 200 uh, applicants for the masters in public health and the one year, the first year, which is a diploma. So uh, thank you for your attention. I have other issues that I, I, I put on a different slide, which is not in the presentation. Maybe we can come back during the discussion on, on challenges facing us uh, uh, as schools of public health. Thank you.